vacuum-induced transparency working in conjunction with electromagnetically induced transparency. When I'm not shooting tech videos, I like to read Science Magazine. And they recently had an article that was reasonably underreported that I found fascinating. Basically, it's about using the quantum state of electrons to enable a d object that is normally opaque to become transparent. So basically what happens is you have an object and you bombard it with photons and that excites the atoms in the object to the point that it shakes to the point that photons can start to pass through it. Well, as you start to bombard the object and it becomes somewhat transparent, if you can bombard it with enough photons, those, that object becomes more and more transparent, but only to certain spectrums of light. So, if you put the object between two mirrors, you can then cause it to become even more bombarded because the photons that pass out of it at those angles reflect off of the mirrors and you up the number of photons that are bombarding the object and therefore the amount of transparency that the object has. This allows you to take an object that is normally opaque, light doesn't pass through it, and make it transparent. Now, this may sound like the first steps to making a cloaking device, and in some ways it is, but in order for the cloaking device to work, you'd have to carry these two mirrors around with you everywhere you were going so that you could stand between them, and then you'd have to have a photon emitter constantly bombarding you. So even if you became transparent, you'd have to carry all of this equipment with you in order to make you transparent. What it is good for is basically as we start to move towards photonic and quantum computing, we need solutions that work similar to the way that superconducting materials work for electrons. You can take a normally conductive material and supercool it to make it a superconductor, basically by taking a metal and taking it all the way down to absolute zero or very near, electrons pass through it much more quickly with much less loss. This allows you to build you know, particle accelerators and superconducting magnets and very fast supercomputers. But those things don't work when we want to start moving to photonic and quantum computing. So we need similar technologies for photoconductors or transparent objects. So what this allows us to do is basically make hyper-transparent objects or devices. So instead of having a fiber optic cable that has very low refraction and very high transparency, we can take these objects, apply vacuum-induced transparency and electromagnetic-induced transparency, and cause an object to be, that was already very transparent and make it ultra-transparent to the point that it is 99 or 99.99 percent transparent with very, very low refraction so that when you send signals over it, the light passes even faster with even less loss. So this isn't a technology to make you invisible, but it is a technology that will make the computers of the future much faster.